Hi friends, I'm Olga Kölsch and welcome back to my studio. Today I will share with you my tips how to control water when painting with watercolor. So kind of essential part. And I know how it could be frustrating when you painted a beautiful picture, when it was wet, it looks wonderful. And once it dry, you could see a lot of ugly edges, blobs, sharp borders. And I will show you my tips how to avoid all this. So let's start. First thing to do when you just start to paint, you wash your brush and then before you jump in your palette, in your color palette, you press the brush on the board of your of your glass of your can with water and let the biggest drops go out like this let's say you want to paint something blue and you have very watery mix on your palette you load your brush with this mix and before you go directly onto the paper before you go to the paper you make a stop at a paper towel to dump the excess water into the paper towel. Once again, before you go onto the paper, you make a stop and just touch very gently with the tip of the brush the paper towel and it will absorb all the excess water. And then you go finally <laughs> to, to the paper and paint something nice and again every time before jumping into the paper you make a stop at a paper towel and i assure you after a few attempts it will become a habit and it will be very very automatical process let's say you already painted something maybe small little tulip and it's uh, really watery in here. If I turn the paper, I, I could see this puddle around, around the edge. And I know when, when it dries, it will look like this with a, uh, with a sharp border on it, which sometimes not really what we want to do. What do you need to do in this case? You wash your brush remove water from the tip then dry your brush with a paper towel and then you put your brush in about 30 degrees to the paper with the tip of the brush and then it works like an absorbent you just absorbing all the water comes back into the brush that's the magic trick you have to keep your brush up in the upper position in about 30 degrees to the paper and that's how you absorb all the water in it let's do this again so you have something maybe with more, slightly more complicated shape let's say rose relatively rose with a lot of puddles so you wash your brush remove first lay of first bunch of water take a paper towel and then dry your brush with the paper towel then you put your brush like this about 30 degrees vertical position and then absorb all the water when you see that it does not absorb anymore dry your brush with a paper towel and go back and absorb this is it let's say you have a bigger area 
a leaf, for example, quite watery leaf. You could do the same trick as we did it before with absorbent water, but the area is slightly too big. So what you could do first, you could go along the edge with the paper towel or you could dry your brush with the paper towel and while the paper is still wet, slightly distribute, very gentle. Do not press too much on the paper like this because it will destroy the paper texture. Very gentle with very gentle moves. Constantly drying your brush. You see, almost uh, after each stroke, I dry my brush a little bit. And that's how I remove unnecessary water. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you. And just a small reminder at the end, always use a paper towel. Always have it next to your working place and then put some practice into it and you will get beautiful results. See you next time. Bye bye.